this is another bedroom that I'm uh, decorating. It's a lovely room actually. Nice shape to it. So, um, white ceiling, mat, and white woodwork, and then a finished paper on the walls. So today's job is strip all the paper off. Uh, there's a new carpet going down as well. So I'm going to take that up before I start the woodwork, but I'm going to strip the paper off first and get the ceiling emulsioned. So yeah, you can have a look as the job progresses. I'm about to start stripping the paper in this room now. Um, so I've got a flat brush. And I've got a scraper. Now this is a, a decent one, this to get under this smooth paper. Um, different ways you can go about it. You can use steam strippers, but it can wreck the plaster. Um, and sometimes the paper comes off quite easy if you know what you're doing with it. So I only use a steam stripper on difficult paper. This stuff, um, you can usually start at the bottom and find a corner and a seam and see how easy it peels up. And if you take the time, you can take the surface off. Is that and then once you've removed all the surface get in some water and never have too much in your bucket that's only got a quarter in if you kick it over you've more to clean up using your flat brush you can wet the back in you can see how much that's soaking in And what you do is once you've wetted an area you can leave it for five minutes as you're taking off more paper um, and then once it's soaked in and been left for five minutes and this is only a few seconds it comes off like that and again, if you're really careful, you can take it off in large pieces, starting from the bottom and working up, or you can just use a scraper. And that's how easy it is. So it should take about an hour to strip this room. There about an hour and a half. Yeah, as you're stripping your wall, what you want to remember is to uh, clean off the old paste as you're going um, just give the wall a scrub in an area and then using using your scraper you can just turn the top work down and sometimes it comes off in big lumps, but it's not too bad this one. And then you can take your cloth and just give it a wipe over. And you do that all the way around to get rid of the old paste. Also, as you've stripped a wall, clean up and put it in your bin bag. Uh, never work in a messy room. Going well at the minute on the second wall. Probably took a bit longer than I expected, but I was never good at estimating. Okay, that's all the stripping done. 
So I'm going to start the filling now, sort any cracks out. Um, it's not a great deal really, it's not too bad. <laughs> 